Konnichiwa! How's it going, guys? I've done a, a few things since the last episode, and maybe we could give a little tour of what's changed. So I've been building pyramids. You know I love those damn pyramids. Gotta build them all the time. This is my new uh, workshop area. And this is Kitty Cat. I asked Cat. I adopted it from a, a person named Cat, which is great. And my name is Sexy Cat, so cats all around. I just realized my this is about to break. It's near the edge. It's gonna break. I got my chest nicely organized. Wow. Let's do some fixing up and use my handy dandy anvil. So while there's a lot of construction that has been done, I'm still not where I intend to be. Okay, this is a pretty good pickaxe, so. Oh, it broke the iron anvil. I don't even know if I have enough iron for another one. I should have enough. I love having organized chests. I got stones, dirt, organics, mob drops, uh, like minerals and stuff like that. Uh, raw wood, which is, I have so much because I have to clear so much jungle. And these are crafts, and then this is more like equipment. And then we got uh, carved stone. I don't have anything for these yet. These could be an extended of this because I seem to have a lot. Go through a lot of stone, you know. And then these are other blocks. And then I have lots of freaking bush. I'm bushed out. So this is but the workshop pyramid. There's an upper level. But, uh, like I said, things aren't done yet. There's a lot of interconnectedness I need to fix. need to polish out. And, like, entryways and stuff like that. This I'm planning to clear out fully. But this is the other pyramid as it was before. Woo! Yes. So I tried a different style pyramid up there, but uh, I didn't like how it looked. It's at the 45 degree angle. You can make a pyramid. I can show you. Kind of make it like, like that, or like that. See, it looks kind of different. One's at, and it'll continue at an angle. This one, this will continue at a a long longitudinally. So I'm clearing that pyramid, but I just don't spend too much time on it. There's so much I need to work on. There's so much like digging I've been doing, and I also died. Ugh, it sucked. I was in the Nether, building a bridge over lava, and then I. I happened to be in a, like player territory so I couldn't place a block so I overshot and I fell into the lava and I got stuck like in my inventory where I couldn't I kept clicking it too many times or something like that or it was lagging where I was stuck in my inventory under lava so there's no hope for me to recover. So here's the bottom part of this pyramid. You watery. So that's fun. So I'm trying to make some paths. Because I do want to make this into a city. This is just the central citadel, the, the castle, more or less. So I have so much wood. I'm tempt I was I keep pon pondering whether I should use it or not. Which I just like the style of stone, so I'll mostly use stone, but I'll use wood for paths. So this is my project I'm working on right now is to take out the first building I made on this set of the server. Finally got to take down my old barn. And then fix all the access points. So this is the barn. Just a little chicken left. Now the upper part of this pyramid is being used as, which I can't really get into. I've kind of sealed it shut because 
Because I have the animals there temporarily while I make this third pyramid here. How can I get in there, actually? I thought I put one opening. Maybe not. So it's fun to have texture to this place, to have variety. Is this on the upper part? No. I do want to fix that. Just make a little platform to get up. Look at the cows. Hello. Can the chicken get out there? Not anymore. They want to escape so bad, they're trying to use the vines. So I've raised a lot of cows, and I've kind of trimmed them down now, since I have an excessive amount of leather and meat from them, stinks. Now I'm going to raise more sheep, maybe color them, and raise more chickens. Basically, chickens are your arrows source. Isn't this so fun? So I... This is like the main hall, in theory. Wait, I, don't, I didn't even build this bridge in my last video. Octopi, stop getting crazy! Yesh! If it wasn't for the ice ore there. I also want more, probably more glass going up. I thought the vines would grow from the top of the pyramid, but they're not, so I might have to remove those too. So I actually want like a, a water elevator right here and going super duper duper high and that's be like a watch like a lookout tower creeper what the heck are you doing in my base this is my base bro so this is the new barn or the third pyramid oh my god the mice are back they're in the walls Jesus Christ. See, so yeah, I want to take this down. Take that pyramid down. And I'm making a new one that's four high and starting at an angle from here. Should probably... It'll probably be nearly as tall as this one. And that'll be the official barn. I'll even have grass in the bottom here. And then I can do nothing with the current barn. I don't know... It's just rooms up. <laughs> so, I guess I should just work on that new barn. Need a lot of digging. And there's creepers who hang out in here, so we gotta watch out for them. Most of the pyramids I've been making come back at an angle. There's like a, a p pivot point where they start like, basically where this line is for this pyramid, they start going inward. All the rest of the pyramids. I don't know how to describe this concept. As you can see, the there's a certain point where it goes down and in. I could just make it forever go down like that. Which is how this pyramid is going to be. It's not going to turn back in on itself. So in theory, these are like double pyramids. I think I heard the wither sound. So it's the high part of the pyramid and the lower part of the pyramid. Gosh, I love this, this place so much. So I do want to move this stuff eventually back into my workshop. With that closed off, whoa, I was really scared. We got other options for paths. Lost that weed, it's, the wheat is gone. So a lot of what I do is cutting down trees. And lighting things up. But I might make more bridges like this. And go some distance. 
Hey, Mr. Cam. You wanna come to my house? I got friends for you. Friend for you, Mr. Cam. It's dark out there, Mr. Cow. Don't. You gotta be careful. Might be mobs. And. Snakes. No, there's no snakes here. Yeah, I go through a freak load of sh shears. Which is worth it, because it get, lets you get through bushes quicker, lets you take down trees. So I'm just kind of going to explore here at the night. See where this leads to. I do love path making, so it would be cool to have a long path from my base to somewhere, anywhere. Even if I could go to like another person's base, it'd be cool. We could all be connected by roads. Yeah, these one block high trees just cause a lot of bushes to be made everywhere. I need the sweet, sweet light. See, I'm trying to figure out what to do with all my wood because I have so much. A lot of things I donate to the community, um, and I like I like going by the philosophy in Minecraft to try to use everything you get. Well, that's my portal. I try not to like have excess stuff, so you can figure out a way to design to implement. Because that's kind of part of design is what resources you have, and if you're very clever with how you use all of the resources hey bonus I see this with like indie games you have like limited resources limited time to even make a game so you have to be really crafty in how you use your time use elements in the game so they don't have to take a lot of work to make the elements design 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 yeah this looks like this goes far into the deep depths of the jungle which is nice Interesting. This jungle's freaking huge. I found the bestest place ever to bake my base. But it is a lot of work. But I do enjoy doing it. Man, I just wanna know what's I just wanna know what's in the in the depths. What is further in? Deeper. Dang, it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going. And even just the trees that are around my base have taken so long to just clear. I could make a long bridge over the ocean, too, with all this wood. Hey, Skelly. Okay, scary skeletons. They shoot the bows and hit you arrow in the knee. Under the sea. I should get some fish because... Some ocelots have been coming around me recently, and I haven't had anything to feed them. Freaking fish stop juking me, bro. Ups and downs, it's crazy. This guy's OP. Yeah, it doesn't look like... There's no features. There's just dense jungle in this during this way. Although this is a cool little island, little peninsula. Just visually, it looks really cool though in the jungle. What's over there? Oh, I thought I saw something creeping. Not a creeper. But maybe a lost cat. I'd be very hopeful. Yeah, I was able to adopt a cat. Somebody made an adoption agency. It's pretty dope. Its name was Mittens. And its gender was uh, a Tesla. Which is really cool. That's my favorite genders, Teslas. Damn, with the moon like that. I'm going to keep working on this map and I'll keep updating you with the progress. 
So thanks for joining on this episode of 60 Cats Adventure. Super awesome time. 